Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between the different kinds of snips or screenshots that you can take with the Snip and Sketch tool or the older version snipping tool. So Snip and Sketch, you can pick up on the Windows 10 store. And one of the nice things about it is when you have it installed, you can start taking a screenshot or a snip by using Windows, Shift and S on your keyboard. So I'm going to do that now. And then you'll get this little drop down from the top and you'll see four different types of snips, rectangular snip, free form snip, window snip, and then full screen snip. So the rectangular snip allows you to drag a box around your screen and whatever is inside of that box when you let go of the mouse is going to be captured. So if I left click here to start my box and then drag it, whatever is inside of this box is gonna become my new screenshot. So I let go, then we have snip save to keyboard so I can left click on that. And now we can see the screenshot I went ahead and took. Note that when you're doing a rectangular snip, windows aren't considered it's only the pixels on the screen so it is possible to go over two or more windows at the same time so now for the next one we do a freeform snip so this one's interesting in the sense that it doesn't need to have a uniform shape you just left click and you start dragging around the screen to get exactly the shape you want to capture so whatever is inside the lit up portion of the shape you're trying to draw is going to be captured into a screenshot and even though it's not a perfect square, it's still only going to capture these regions specifically. The way it does that is by taking everything else in that square area and making it transparent. So if we left click on the screen capture now, we can see the outer areas are transparent and we only have the areas that were inside of the quite random shape that I was able to draw. Now, because all images on the computer are rectangular, the transparency is only going to stay there if we save it as a .png or another image type that does support having transparency. So let's go ahead and save it. And I'll just call this test screenshot one. So I'll just go ahead and save this to the desktop as test screenshot one. And we want it to be a .png in this case. So now if I go ahead, double click it and open it up, it still has that transparency because we saved it as a PNG. If we had chosen JPEG, this area might be white. It has to fill the background in with something when it's a JPEG. So the next option is window snip, which is really handy because it allows you to capture a region of the screen where a window is open uh, perfectly to the size of that window. So this works really nicely when it is the window that's on top because it's not capturing the window itself, but rather the pixels that are showing in this region. So if I select here now, it's going to work fine because it's showing on top. But if I open up this screen capture now and I position it kind of like this, where now the snip and sketch window is the one on top, but I try to capture this background photos, what's going to happen is that the snip and sketch is going to get captured on the right side of the screenshot. So let's do a window alt S and I'm going to window snip this region. So what you see is what you get. I'm going to left click there and now we have another screen capture. But this time the area on the right is filled with gray space, even though it was capturing this region. What it picked up was the background of the snip and sketch. So you do have to be careful about using window capture. Okay, and then of course we have full screen snip. So full screen is just gonna capture everything on one monitor. So some people have multiple monitors and you would capture one monitor at a time. So full screen, and then it's going to grab the currently selected monitor. So I'm gonna left click here and we can see that this is obviously just a screenshot of the entire desktop uh, as it was at the time we took the snip. So in a nutshell, that is the four different types of snips or screenshots you can take with the snip and sketch and snipping tools in Windows 10. I hope this video helped you guys out. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.